welcome back. We are going to take a look at a limiting reactant problem. So the problem says determine the amount of zinc hydroxide produced if 25 grams of zinc reacts with 30 grams of manganese oxide. So we want to know the amount of zinc hydroxide produced and we're given the amounts of reactants that we're starting with. So the first step of any problem is to make sure that our equation is balanced. So write the balanced equation. Let's make sure that our equation is balanced. I have one zinc, one zinc, one manganese, and two manganese. Oh, so I need to put a two here. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens. Two times two is four oxygens plus one is five. 2 plus 3 is 5. So everything is balanced. Just needed that coefficient of 2. And our second step is to determine which reactant produces the least amount of product. Which reactant produces the least amount of product? So let's get started. We have 25 grams of zinc, and we want to know how much zinc hydroxide is produced. The first step is always to go into moles. So one mole of zinc over the molar mass of zinc, which is 65.39 grams. And then I'm just gonna use my mole ratio that I get from my coefficients in my equation so here I have a coefficient of one. I want to know how much zinc hydroxide is produced. And in front of zinc, I also have a coefficient of one. So one mole of zinc hydroxide over one mole of zinc. So to solve this problem, all that I have to do is take 25 divided by 65.39, which gives me 0.38 two moles of zinc hydroxide that has been formed. We're going to do the same thing for manganese oxide. So I have 30 grams, 30.0 grams, MnO2. And the first step is to convert into to moles. One mole. MnO2 over, looking at the periodic table, manganese has a mass of 54.94 plus two oxygens, which gives us a mass of about 86.9 grams. And then the last step is to look at our molar ratios given our balanced equation. I have a coefficient of one still in front of my zinc hydroxide, but now I have a coefficient of two in front of MnO2. So one mole of zinc hydroxide over two moles MnO2. So 30.0 divided by 86.9 divided by two, which gives us 0.173 moles of zinc hydroxide. So we can easily determine our limiting reactant by looking at the amount of product that's formed. The limiting reactant is the reactant that controls the amount of product that has been made. It runs out during the reaction. So our limiting reactant in this case is MnO2. Is the limiting reactant. Zinc is in excess. So zinc has the potential to create 0.382 moles of zinc hydroxide, but the problem is that we would run out of MnO2 before we got to that point. So because we will run out of MnO2, we can only produce 0.173 moles of zinc hydroxide. And the last step is just to put this number into grams. So 0.173 moles of zinc hydroxide over one mole and the molar mass of zinc hydroxide. I can just look on the periodic table. I have zinc 
two oxygens and two hydrogens, which gives me a mass of about 99.4 grams. So 0.173 times 99.4, which equals 17.2 grams of zinc hydroxide. And remember, this is our theoretical yield. It's the maximum amount of product that could be formed, and that number is based off of the limiting reactant. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure and leave a comment. If you're still struggling with this concept, check out some other videos on my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by.